welcome. This sounds like a typical arpeggiated pattern. However, it's not. It's made using Ableton's random device and the scale device. So I'm going to show you how I achieved this effect. There are three parts to this. Uh, one is to do with the MIDI clip. The second is to do with the random device. And the third is to do with the scale device. Now I've um, positioned this scale device so that it sits within, uh, within a rack so that I can uh, control um, uh, different kind of chord types or harmony centers. So anyway, let's start off first of all with the MIDI clip. What I've done is essentially sequence um, 16th notes all on a single pitch, C3. The, the reason why I've done this is so that the, uh, the random device actually gets some MIDI data. So the notes will be coming from here in terms of the raw materials. And then the scale plugin is going to quantize or conform these to uh, these uh, melodic outputs. That's essentially what's going on here. Now, the beauty of using the, this kind of clip-driven method is that uh, you can change the rhythm of the clips. So have a listen to this. So that's all 16th notes. Changing to clip two. eighth notes and now changing to clip three a mix of sixteenth and eighth notes So as you can hear, you can, uh, you can alter the rhythmic underpinning of your pattern, whether that's a melody, whether that's a bass line, whether it's a chordal thing, whatever it might be. Um, you can give it a, a specific uh, rhythmic framework and the random tool is essentially gonna take the data that's coming in and spin it back out, but they're all gonna follow the rhythm uh, or the rhythmic underpinning that you've done. Now then, added to this is the scale plugin. And the scale plugin essentially conforms the notes that are coming in. So, so at the moment we're just hearing root notes. Here we get the minor third. And here we've got the fifth. Now the random device offers a couple of modes and uh, some different kinds of functions in terms of what it does. The alternate mode offers a kind of a round robin approach to the notes that are coming in. The other mode is random and this, is, uh, this creates a little bit more um, sort of chaos between parts and so on. The notes are still in key, but they feel somehow um, much more kind of scattered. So 
So if your goal is to have something that feels just a little bit more kind of structured, a bit more kind of conservative in choice, then alt may well be uh, the right mode for you. In terms of the signs, add means that it will add notes above the incoming pitch. Sub, the notes will, will be below the incoming pitch. And by is a mix of both. So for the scale plugin, I've essentially um, just identified the notes that feel right for whatever it is that um, I'm, I'm looking for. So in this instance, C minor is essentially showing the C, which is the root, the E flat, which is the minor third, and the G, which is the fifth. Now next door to that, I have G. So the G one is a little bit more comprehensive. So if you look at C minor, I've left a lot of spaces. So basically some of the notes that will be coming in will be ignored. Whereas on the G, it's a bit more fulsome. Have a listen. So this row here is the D, which is the fifth. Here is the G, which is the root, and here's the major third. Now what I also have is a G minor. So you can see the difference between the G, the B naturals here, and the B flats here. It gives that kind of Jean-Michel Jarre back to C minor. things. Uh, I also have a G sharp diminished here leading to a key change into A minor. So this is really the difference of how you go from say C minor to A minor in a kind of a progressive kind of key changing modulation type way. swapped out to a different project and in this one there are uh, slightly different kind of harmonies more in keeping with C minor more than anything else just to show a bit more of the melodic properties of uh, this sort of approach Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at the scale tool and what you can do with it applied as a more melodic arpeggiator than the standard one that comes with the Ableton Library. Until next time. <laughs>